All right, welcome back. So in the next uh, tutorial, what we're going to talk through um, briefly is layout. Um, so you know, you may have looked through mainactivity.java. Uh, you may have run the app, which I'm doing right now in the emulator. You look through mainactivity.java, and you see sort of why these certain things appear on the map. We've talked a little bit about the code that puts the markers into the position that they are in the map and where that data comes from. But what we there's this deeper question, which is like, why does this app look like this at all, right? Why is there a map view being displayed? Why is there a search bar at the top? Um, and if you look through this entire mainactivity.java file and read all the commentary, you will not find the answer to this. And the reason is it's not in here. We're looking in the wrong spot. Um, so if we want to uh, start to work with layout, which is essentially designing the screen, putting things on the screen, putting buttons in place, putting uh, text boxes, you know, uh, essentially designing the UI, we need to uh, start working with a feature of Android called layout. Now, this is not a topic of this class. It's a huge topic. It's an important topic. It's a complicated topic. Um, it's a very hard thing to get right. And if anything, if there's anything I want you to come away from the short discussion, it's that this is really hard and you should respect the people that do it because it is not easy. When you use an app, on your phone or on the web that's intuitively designed, that works, um, that's smooth and you know beautiful and feels easy to use. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into that, into thinking through exactly how to design that experience. And you may become one of those people or you may work with one of those people, but regardless, respect what they do because it's really hard and super important. Because a lot of computer programs that you write interact with the user and that's a difficult thing to get right. This app's not particularly beautiful because I'm not that good at this and also because um, I wanted to keep this simple. But I do want to show you a little bit about why this happens. So where we find our layouts is over here. So if I go into the app source main uh, res layout, um, and I've actually, uh, because I'm a kind person, I've given you a layout that you need for the next checkpoint. But for now, we're going to look at this layout called activity main. Now this is loaded by the code right here. So you'll see set content view r.layout.activity main. That's what actually causes the main activity to use this layout. Um, so if I go and open this up, um, now it, when you open this up, what you will probably see, I've been messing around a little bit, is this view. And this is sort of like super scary. It's like, oh my gosh, what happened? Suddenly I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like, uh, I thought Android Studio was complicated, had a lot of buttons and widgets, and now I open this thing and it, it sort of multiplied by a factor four. Um, what's happening here is that Android Studio, because it's an app uh, designed to create apps that have a user interface, comes with a very powerful design tool allowing you to create beautiful and functional user interfaces for your apps because they're going to interact with the user and users, you know, don't enter code, they push buttons and enter text and things and swipe left and swipe right and things like that. So you need to be able to handle those type of things and to build an interface that they can use. Now, again, we are not going to even just get into the just the tiniest, tiniest bits of details about this. We'll just dip our toe in the water very, very, very uh, shallow. Um, but what I want to show you is, and, and you know, I would be very careful with this because it's very easy to make a ton of mistakes and make changes that will cause you know, your app testing not to work properly. What I want to show you though is that behind this design view is code, right? There is code that's used to represent the layout of the app. And if I want to see that code, I go over here and I click this code tab. And now I'm looking at um, something called XML. Now XML is on some level a program, it's not a programming language. It's something that we call a markup language. What's the difference? A programming language uh, used, used to tell a computer how something should behave. A markup language is usually used to tell a computer how something should look or how it should be structured. So HTML, for example, which is used on the internet, is another markup language. This particular markup language uses features that are designed to support Android applications. And what you'll see here is that, you know, so for example, you can ask questions like, why does the app have a map view component? It has a map view component because there's this, here's the map view component. Like this is where it comes from. This is why it's on the screen. Um, let's see here. Uh, if I wanted to make the uh, map view component smaller, I could do this. So let's go back to the design view. And now you see there's a search bar on this tiny little map, right? Uh, it'd be kind of weird. We could run the app and let's make it a little bit bigger because it's a little too small. Um, how about 100? That looks good. Okay, let's rerun my app. 
I'll hit terminates, okay? And what you're gonna see is now I've made this like weird change and now the map is like only up here for some reason, which is dumb because there's nothing below it. So um, I'm gonna go back and sort of undo that change that I just made and now it will fill the parent. And by that it means expand to fill all the available space. Um, other things are, you know, why is there a toolbar at the top? Well, I can remove this toolbar. Now I go here to the design view. I'm gonna see, oops, get the emulator out of the way, that now the map would just fill the whole screen. Uh, so let's try this, uh, I'll terminate. Um, and now you'll see that the map fills the entire display. And for some apps, this might be what you want if you just have an app that's very map first, right? We want that search bar because we're gonna use it in a minute to take the search method that we just finished and actually use it to update the UI. So I'm gonna go back in here um, and put that back on the screen, rerun the app, and now you'll see that there's a search bar shown at the top. Now, one of the important components of layout is building the ability for you to write code that interacts with the layout. So you already noticed that we have code that, for example, populates the map view. So the map view is added to the screen in this layout file, but then my main activity has to be able to find it so that it can do things like add markers, where the favorite places are. That's done using this ID, um, this ID component, right? So you'll see this is ID map, um, and if I go over to the main activity, one of the things it does is it calls this method called find view by ID, and it passes it r.id.map. That corresponds to this right here in the layout, and that gives me essentially a handle, a reference to this map view component, which I can then do to do things like zoom and center and add markers and all that sort of fun stuff, right? So I can essentially programmatically interact with it, but it's this ID that creates the linkage between the layout, which is used to describe how things look, and the main activity in Java, which is used to describe how things work. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do in the next uh, walkthrough is we'll use this piece of information to uh, augment main activity dot Java so it actually starts to interact with the search bar. Currently the search bar is here. Uh, it works, right? If I click on it and put in text, like there's a text box here. Uh, there's a text box here, excuse me. That's all working fine, but there's nothing happening. So the first thing we need to do is to figure out how our main activity should respond to change it to the, to the text box and start to write the code to do that. That's what we'll do next.